okay in this video on chapter 7 the topic is differentiation okay there are several rules that you need to know before you can differentiate a certain function first let's look at the constant rule when we are given the function y equals to c where c is a constant constant means any number then dy over dx so dy over dx represent the differentiation okay so dy dx which means we differentiate y compared with x so for any constant or number the answer is always equals to zero okay let's look at an example here when y is equals to 3 so 3 is a constant then dy dx is equals to 0 so in other words when we differentiate any number the answer is always equals to 0 let's look at the next rule called the power rule so in this case we are given y equals to x to the power of n so when we differentiate y compared with x we will get dy over dx equals to so what we do is to take out this n right the power n and write it on the left side of x so we have n x and next we have to minus 1 right the power minus 1 so the answer will be n x to the power of n minus 1 okay let's look at example 2 here in example 2 we are given y equals to x to the power of 3 so dy dx will be equals to so bring down the 3 first so we will get 3x and then the power 3 be minus 1 so the answer is equals to 2 so therefore the dy dx for x to the power of 3 is equals to 3x square okay now let's look at another example when we are given y equals to x the power is 2 over 5 then dy over dx so we have to bring out the power which is 2 over 5 times x then what do we do with the power we minus 1 right so 2 over 5 minus 1 will give us negative 3 over 5 so the answer is 2 over 5 x to the power negative 3 over 5 okay example 4 when we are given y equals to root 3 of x to the power 4 so the first thing is to convert the radical form into exponent all right so from here we have x to the power 4 remember root 3 we will convert it to x to the power 4 over 3 the root will become the denominator of the power so from here we can then differentiate the y compared with x so remember bring out the power first we have 4 over 3 times x then the power v minus 1 so 4 over 3 minus 1 will be 1 over 3 so the answer is 4 over 3 times x to the power 1 over 3 okay let's look at rule number 3 which is known as constant rule multiplied by function so in this case we have y equals to a constant a x to the power n then dy over dx will be equals to so we take the power n times with a okay and then power minus 1 so we have the power n we will take out n first times eh? the bracket means times a x and then the power v minus 1 okay let's look at example 5 so in example 5 when y is given as 3 equals to 3x to the power 5 so the first step is to bring out the 5 times with 3x so we have 5 times with 3x and then power minus 1 so we will get 5 times 3 equals to 15 then x